Question 16. So, what do we know? We're talking about multiples of 3. So, let's think about different possibles. We've got 3k. We might have something in the form of 3k plus 1. We might have something in the form of 3k plus 2. And in each case, it's talking about squaring it. So, let's just think about squaring all of these. So, if I square this, that's 9k squared, so it can be expressed, so it must be multiple of 3, because 3 times whatever that is. So we know that that idea is a multiple of 3. Okay, there's no doubt about that. What about if we started with a number that was in the 3 times table plus 1? So let's have a look. If we multiply this out, that's going to give us... 9k squared plus 6k plus 1. So I can rewrite that as 3 times 3k squared plus 2k add 1. So that bit's a multiple of 3, and we got add 1. So it must be a multiple of 3, add 1. Now let's look at the last case. So, something in the 3 times table, add 2. So again, if we just multiply this out, we've got 9k squared plus 12k um, and plus 4. Um, and then if we think about how we're going to write that, so 3, and multiply by 3k squared plus 4k. Now I think about that plus 4. I think about it as like plus 3 and plus 1. So that would be plus 1 there, so that's that one, because it's 3 times 1 really, and then plus 1 on the outside. So I know that bit's a multiple of 3, add 1. So again, multiple of 3, add 1. Okay, so we can see this satisfies what we were talking about up there. Okay, so it works if you want to. There we go.